Hi friends, this is Deepika Kheri and welcome back to Deepika Kheri's kitchen and today I am going to do such a brilliant dish with this eggplant that I have over here and I love it, like I simply love it. Okay, so before I go over to my ingredients and to the recipes, I just want to thank each one of you for your response to my channel, for your liking my videos and for subscribing to my channel. Keep on the great work and I will cherish my channel with all the beautiful dishes that I've ever made. When I got to know that my husband does not like it, I was like, maybe he's never eaten a good one. So I got my, you know, I got my feet into the kitchen and this is like one of his favorite dishes today. Also, he did not like many other dishes and those are also on the hit list today. Let's get quickly over to the ingredients and then we'll follow with the recipe. This is about 400 grams of it and uh, 100 grams gives like 25 calories. That is super, super cool because it's like nothing you are eating, but still you are consuming a lot of you know good health benefits that it has which is rich in fiber rich in antioxidants and uh, it regulates your diabetic problem if you have it regulates your heart problems if you have so it is a must on your healthy jam cameraman focus here i have half tablespoon of uh, turmeric powder and then one tablespoon of uh, uh, coriander uh, powder then i have half tablespoon of cumin powder I have uh, one uh, fourth tablespoon of garam masala powder, then I have half tablespoon of uh, red paprika, red chilli, then I have one four teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Okay, then we'll need some uh, coriander to garnish. I will need some oil and here I'm using this olive oil. This is uh, pure uh, light olive oil from the brand called Avita. This I have the rock salt. It has got all the essential trace minerals which are required by the body which are not provided by the normal salt that we eat. First of all, I will mix all these, uh, my, you know, dry spices into a bowl over here. It's an, it's an empty bowl. Yes. Okay, so here I have mixed all the spices nicely. Now we are done with this. We'll take this. I have washed it and dried it. Now I'm going to cut it. So I'll take off my upper head. Okay, so you cut it like this, you make a thin thin slices like half inches. As soon as you cut them, you position them on, on a cutting board or anything, a plate that you have and you sprinkle them with the salt. I use my fingers to sprinkle the salt and sprinkling of the salt will help in uh, cutting the bitterness if any in the eggplant and it will also help to get all the water extracted from the eggplant you will see after like 5 to 10 minutes it will become moist the surface will become moist and it will prevent oxidation of your eggplants okay so now i am going to uh, invert them and i'm going to season them again with salt Okay, so now I'm done. Allow it a good 10 minutes to, you know, rest like that. This is how the eggplant surface will look after 10 minutes of, you know, when uh, it has soaked all the, uh, your salt. And so now next I'm going to sprinkle all the, my mixture of these dried spices. But before I do that, I'm going to take this fork and I'm just, you know, going to insert it into my eggplant so that when I add my dry spices they all get inside sprinkle them concentrating on one of don't get lazy <laughs> come near me and focus okay so we need to invert it and we need to sprinkle the other side also Okay, so I am almost done sprinkling my dry spices onto my both the sides of my eggplant. Okay, so we are back after uh, 10 minutes have been over while they are resting on my uh, board. And uh, now I am good to go to place them on my warm skillet. I am I'm going to spread almost like 1 to 2 tablespoon of oil. Now I am going to put this brinjal, this eggplant slice. So on each side, I'll give approximately, you know, uh, three to four minutes and then I'll show you how it looks when it's finally done. So this is my signature 
recipe that I adore so 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 much and my husband loves it I love it and I'm very much sure that every one of you every single one of you is going to love it my cameraman is jealous of me that I'm cooking because I always get to taste it before him it's a little hot mm. and this is moist you know like spilling here and there into my mouth all the dry spices i can feel like red paprika this side my garam masala this side cumin powder exploding into my mouth and this is really really yummy you can you can serve this with the rice you can serve this with uh, <laughs> my okay so you can serve this with rice with a chapati with puri or or just an as a, as an appetizer with with some kind of a drink if you like and right here this tomato which i've toasted on my skillet itself hardly for 30 seconds or so this is so so yummy when i take this with this <laughs> oh my god i'm describing and i'm eating it all i'm not tasting i'm right now having it because it's so 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 tasty mm. please 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 try it even if you do not like eggplant i request you all you will fall in love with this recipe so if you like my video please 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 subscribe to my channel this means a lot to me uh, please uh, like my video watch my video i have also left my facebook link and my twitter link in my description below hit the like button below hit the subscribe button below and i'll see you again next time with so 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 many good recipes and i'm also going to do a very good style trip from my kitchen for your hair till then be blessed stay happy stay healthy and this is the pika keri saying goodbye